All right, all you tutorialites. Today, I will show you how to properly sharpen a hatchet. So, first thing you wanna do, you wanna get this. I got it from Trader's Village a long time ago. So, what you wanna do is you wanna open your hatchet, your ax, your whatever. You want to pour a little bit of it's moistened on the 240 side of the brick. Okay, so you got that done. Now what you want to do is you want to let it soak up. I think that's what it's doing. Yeah, say it. And then you want to get this. You just want to Drag it along it at a whatever degree angle. And I don't really know the angles. Is this even recording? I'm not sure if it's recording the right thing, but it's recording. So you want to just glide it. And this is done without protection. I do it without protection. Just want to keep doing this forever. For all eternity. Just want to keep dragging it. And just like the last tutorial I showed you, this one is recommended to be done in a hotel room at 3 a.m. At the maximum loudness. Just go ham at it. Just in the middle of the night. Just that's all you want to do. Collect all the infinity stones. That's all you want to do. It's got to reach into the toilet. Needs to poop. That's all you got to do. Look how sharp this is becoming. You see that? That's sharpness. I'm gonna maybe next time I'll even show you how to enchant these things. Now you have it. All right. Is this even getting on tape? Let me move back a little bit. So it's becoming sharper. Let me just, mmm, just like that. Like, see that? That's all you want to do. Get all the ridges off. All right. So now you want to wet it some more. Alright, so now it's wet, it's soaking. Just wanna keep going at it. Like a fat kid at a Taco Bell. You just wanna keep. Yeah. Keep this up and you'll lose your toes. Uh-huh. All right. Now that's an edge. Now you want to be working on the other side. Here's how I like to do it. I call this shredding the cheese. <laughs> Holy God, there's an ant. And my swamp. That'll do it. Oh yeah, I could feel the edge. Look at that. I could feel the edge. Alright. So next, after you got both sides done, they're both sharp, they're both nice and sharp. Now, what you want to do is you want to move on. Oh, I killed it. I'm going to put it out of its misery. Sorry, little guy. I'm so sorry, little ant. 
He was crawling, he was handicapped. I just killed it. Quickly. I ended it. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to use the 120 side. This is actually <laughs> this is like a $5 block. So you want to move to the 120 side. You want to wet it. Let it sit there for a little bit. Maybe read a book. Just kidding, who does that nowadays? So you just want to let it, look at this, look at this. Look how aesthetic this is. This is not sped up. This is actually pretty cool. Look at how it just sinks in. Look at that. That is just awesome. I like that. Okay, so what you want to do now? God dang. So what you want to do now? Is you want to just want to do it again. Just do what you did on the other side. That's also recommended to do. Scratch the crap out of your axe or hatchet, no matter how expensive it is. Wanna get it out. Just wanna Yep. Okay, now the whetstone's dry, you're gonna wanna apply more water to it. And just keep going. Until you die. Just keep going at it, and then when you die it'll be the sharpest axe in the world. And then you'll be you'll have the sharpest axe in the world. You know? And that's the goal here. I'm just gonna do this until I die. So if you're watching this, I'm probably dead. So now that you're immortal, you're gonna wanna hit the other side up. And if you're two, well, good, no good news for you. It's gonna be even sharper than somebody who does it who's three. So, if you do it when you're first born, like you just come out of the womb, just and you just keep doing that your whole life, you will have created a super weapon to destroy everything in, in your path, right? But not you, because like you'll be dead. All right, let's test it. That's razor sharp. Time to wash up for dinner. What are you doing? Something. What is that? It's a sharpening stone. Cool. Time to wash up for dinner. I heard. Alright, you just experienced a cut. That's because, like, Something just happened where I had to cut it. But back to the tutorial. So what you want to do is you want to first just destroy it with your face, right? And then you want to finish up because it's time for dinner. Alright, it's a pretty good edge we've got going so far, so let's test it on this bottle cap. It's sharp, but it can use some work.
just like how um most um uh, Europeans could use a dental um refine refining. What you doing? Sharpening. Are you recording it? Perhaps. <laughs> I would assume so. Why? Because your phone is the way it is? No, I mean, why Why you ask? Why I ask what? I don't know. Is dinner ready? Yeah, she's almost. Alright. All it is is pies and manelli. What? All it is is pizza. Oh. Okay. Okay, what you just experienced is another cut. So, now that you've got all your resources and your thing can pretty much go through anything, like watch. Can you wash your hands? Okay. And you just experienced another cut. So, um, what you want to do? So, so it's just like that, and we pretty much cut anything, yeah, including myself. Um, yeah, I'll put this up for reference. So, like, watch this piece of paper. Boom. Destroyed. Now it's your turn. And that's it for this tutorial. Tomorrow, I will teach you something else. So, bye-bye.